Yo, what's going on? In today's video, I got the how to make a Souls RNG game. I believe I left off at part three, so I believe this is part four, my part five, but I think I left off at part three, so this would be part four. But anyway, what's up? Um, and stuff. I know I haven't done a Souls RNG video in a minute. I don't really think people's really fucking with it, the videos and stuff like that. Like I know people was messing with it like before, but I know people still messing with it. But a lot of y'all was commenting stuff asking for. Uh, you know, a uh, continue continuation of the series and stuff. So I was like, all right, bet, you know what I'm saying? I got y'all type thing. So yeah. So um what's it called? So here are the changes and stuff, right? I went through the comments and of the most recent uh Souls RNG video and I got the most requested things and then the stuff I just and then I think like one of these things I thought of myself. So I added animations for ores. You guys know how in, how in the game certain ores like the more rare the aura is there's a higher chance that uh you'll have like an animation and stuff like you'll be floating or something. So I added animations for certain ores. Um someone pointed out to me that um if you press skip like if you roll an aura and then you skip it and you don't already own it it's it will not save and go into your inventory i did not know that i thought as long as you roll it it's, it automatically saves hence why i made it like that but that's clearly not the case so i changed it so now it will only go into your inventory if you actually press equip right and then i also added a cooldown because before i didn't have any cooldown so now once you press either skip or equip it's going to be a two second cooldown you guys can modify that yourselves to be however long you want um, it's also going to go, you know, like it's going to be like a text label over the roll button so the player will know how long their cooldown, when they're on cooldown and how long it has left. Um, and then I also added text color for specific auras. You guys know how it displays your aura name above your head. And, and you know, you guys know how specific auras, um, certain auras have, like again, the rare auras, they have uh, different text colors and stuff. Like red, green, whatever. So I also added that. Yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into it, right? So... First things first, we need to add, all we gotta do is open up roll GUI, head over to our roll button, and then insert a text label, right? Now what you're gonna wanna do to the text label is, we're not, we don't even need the text portion of this. So what that means is we can go down here, we can delete the text, we don't need to set no text properties. All we need to do is set the background transparency to 0 0.5, set the background color to like black, or you could do like a dark grayish color, it doesn't really matter, it's up to y'all, right? because we just want it to look grayed out right so when you set the color you want to rename the text label to pull down text label and then you want to set the size so keep so remember this size right like remember the size it has now since you insert the text label into it it should match this the size of the button so you should already be good so you just want to set the x value to zero and stuff and then once you know once we start the cooldown we're going to set it to we're going to set the 200 that we're going to tween it so it slowly moves over right so yeah we want it to be zero and then you know whatever number you have it at right so just like that we're done there then if we head on over to our aura folder i'm going to show you guys so inside of the rare folder right i have two new things i've added i have an animation and a color to insert an animation or a color you do this so animation you just type animation boom for color now the name of it is like I named it color, but what the what the actual value, what the actual instance is called is called a color three value. So you want to insert a color three value, right? Because remember we're doing because it's text color three. So for the animation, you're gonna throw your animation ID in there. You guys have to use your own. Throw your animation ID in there and stuff. Boom, right? Um, I do want to clarify something with this. Though. Oh, okay. So also make sure, right? You guys see how in classic? Oh, sorry, not in classic. Uh, the you guys see how it's named animation, right? Just name, regardless, don't put like rare animation. Like it doesn't matter. The animation is inside of the specific aura folder. So that's all that matters. So just make sure you name it animation, just that, right? And same thing applies with color three value. Just name it color. That's all you gotta do and just set the value, right? So for the color three values, you just click this or type the number in and then you just set it to whatever value you want, right? um if your aura does not have a uh what's it called if your aura does not have a sp like a, a specific animation so if there's no animation for it just simply don't put it, as you guys can see the class a doesn't have one just simply don't put in it an animation into the folder and stuff right only put it into fo into the folders of the auras you want to have animations right and then um but make sure you insert color into all of them though i didn't make it the same way i probably should have did that but it doesn't matter but yeah for color we just left it white so yeah so that's that's how you do that's how we're going to do the animations and the colors and stuff inside of our aura folder which is inside of server storage and yeah, and yeah just like that guys we are done with that part now we can move to the actual scripting portion so let's open up the local core script and then we got to change this or more so just add an if statement so i'm going to say if 
player that role cooldown, which we didn't create this yet, but we're going to create it when we move to the server script and say that value is equal to false enter. This pretty much means, I mean, pretty self explanatory. This means you're, no, you're not on cooldown and stuff. This is uh, to ensure that, like, uh, what's it called? That the players, like, it doesn't disable the uh, roll button. It doesn't make the roll button not no longer visible and fire their motivator for no reason if they're uh, not on cooldown. I just want to clarify something. We check this on the server side too. The only reason we have this on the local on the local script is to ensure that like the button doesn't disappear and the remote event is being fired for no reason. Let's say even if there was like an exploiter that was able to bypass this if statement and stuff, nothing would happen. We already have a check on the uh, server side and stuff. So all that would happen is that the roll button would disappear and then they'd have to they'd be forced to like rejoin the game pretty much and stuff. So it honestly, yeah. So then don't worry about there. But you guys will see more of when we move when we move to the server side. Then I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna go right below the safe position variable and right above the uh core event function. So I'm gonna create a function, right? I'm gonna say function close UI. It has the name applies. Press enter. Oh sorry. You <laughs> close parentheses then enter, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to just call this function twice. So we're going to add all of this code. We're going to add it, sorry, this code, right? You're going to add this code and then we're going to delete it here as well as we're going to add uh, like about three things, I think. So let's control C after selecting it. Boom. And then we're going to control V. Now, instead of all that, we're just going to simply call the function. So close UI, same thing, delete all of it, call close UI, right? And then once you've done that, we then have to create a tween. So I'm gonna say, I wanna say let's save ourselves some time and let's just copy and paste one of the role tweens. So control C, you're gonna go after all this stuff, right? Control V, and then you're gonna rename this to role cooldown tween, right? Then rename it control C, control V. Then of course you're gonna go to you're going to go to the roll button this time and then the cooldown text label right and then here's where you're going to put your time and stuff now i do want to clarify this is not how much time the cooldown will last this is just simply what is going to display to the player and stuff like like how long it'll take for the bar to move now you want this time to equal the same amount of time as the cooldown of course i'm just saying though that obviously the real cooldown is on the server side this is just simply displaying to the players that they know how long they are cooldown for so i went with two seconds but you guys can go whatever you want um Oh, it's linear. Um, I think I went with out, I believe, and stuff. And then obviously for the properties, we're not changing the position, we're changing the size. So size, delete that, and then you're doing UDM two that new. Remember what I mentioned in the beginning and stuff? We're setting it to that. So if you open a roll GY, right, we go to the cooldown text label. So to get the, to get this uh, size we need, we're just gonna modify it to two hundred. Boom! It covers the whole thing. That's the those are the coordinates we need. So control C, control V. I mean, control Z, sorry, to, uh, you know, reverse it. And then control V. Then I'm just going to delete the special brackets because we just need it in parentheses. Boom, boom, right? And then the cooldown tween is going to play. And then lastly, all we got to do, I actually have to create a separate event for the cooldown for the server side. So core event, fire server, invitation marks, cooldown, right? And then boom, right? Just like that, guys. We are, wait, zero, zero, zero. zero. Oh, wait, sorry. Oh, wait, 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 I just, sorry guys, I did this wrong, I did this wrong, sorry, I did this wrong, okay, we do need this size, we do need this size, you can copy this, right, what you want to do, you want to go above the roll twin, and you want to say, roll gy, that roll button, that pull down text label, that size is equal to that size, sorry, I, I made a mistake, sorry, this is supposed to be zero, yeah, 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 we're going to set it, we're gonna set it so that it covers the whole thing, and then we're gonna tween it so that uh, it, you know, it goes away. It doesn't, it doesn't cover anything anymore. And that's what I was supposed to come out for. But yeah. So then we have our closed UI. We have our closed UI down here. Um, and then I want to say that's, I believe, yeah, I believe that's really, that was really the last, the last bit of things I had to do, or the last changes I had made. Well, moving on, we can move to the server script. So let's open up server, uh, server script service open up the core script, right? So first thing first, we're gonna go ahead and create a new value. You can go after current aura. So you can really just copy and paste actually. So let's just control C, control, v oh, sorry, control V. You wanna rename, rename this to role 
pull down and then just control C, control V, control V, control V. This of course is going to be a bool value and by default, you're going to set it to false, equal to false. We don't need, we don't need to save this value, right? I wanted to create it before I create all the owned or as values and stuff, right? And we obviously we don't need to save this and stuff, right? So then we can go ahead and scroll all the way down, I believe to, yeah, yeah, actually like right here. So after this, if they, so after this part, right? Remember how I mentioned the whole text color thing? So let's go ahead and set the text. So I'm gonna say origui dot or a text label dot text color three is equal to aura folder, regular brackets, you're gonna say player dot current aura dot value. So you know which aura then dot color, that's why I said name them all color, then dot value, so we know what color to set it to. And then you're just gonna copy and paste that, control C, control V, throw that, throw that right there. And then, so just like that, we are done here, and we can scroll down to the core event. So over here, once we're over here, we are then going to add an and right here. So this is what I was talking about when I said the check is also on the server side, we're gonna say and player dot roll cool down dot value is equal to false, all right? So uh, the cooldown is equal to false, then that ensures that, you know, they're able to roll, they're able to, you know, roll, spin for a UI, I mean, UI <laughs> for an aura and stuff, right? So pretty much to explain this, once the player presses either the equip or skip button, which, which remember, you can only press those buttons once you've rolled for something. When they press one of those uh, buttons, it's going to fire the cooldown mode event, right? And then once it fires the cooldown event, we're going. that's when we're going to actually begin the cooldown. We're actually going to start the clock and stuff, right? So then once you've done that, um, the fault, wait, if the, my answer is, what are you, I'm trying to think, what did I, mm, okay, now I'm, I'm trying to remember, what did I, yeah, yeah, okay, I remember, I did this now, okay, so we're, we changed this, right, the thing I mentioned about the make it so it doesn't say if you skip it, this was what this was, it was just making it so it automatically gave it to them, so you want to delete this, right? We want to delete this when we equip the aura. We're then going to uh, that's when we're going to actually check to see if it's That's when we're going to actually check to see if they don't already own it If they don't then we'll just make it so that they you know do on this stuff, right? And then we leave um, Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just left the, left the rest of this alone. I tried to do something else with it, but yeah So then we move down to equip aura, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the if statement like I was saying so add an if statement right here you're gonna say, oh, let me do that. You're gonna say if player dot owned auras regular brackets aura dot value is equal to false, which means the player is currently does not own it. You're then gonna make sure they own it. Control C, Control V, and then one equal sign, and then set value equal to true. So the player now owns it. Then you want to go down here. So you want to go after the um the V two. So right here and stuff this is the aura folder remember since before all we had was mesh parts or regular parts right but now we actually have like color three values and animations and an animation so we need to ensure that when we're looking for like all of the parts that have auras that have like the aura parts to it you know the aura effects to them is that we need to make sure that those are actual parts so i'm gonna say if v2 is a mesh part or v2 is a regular part so for ours works for r6 or r15 right we need to make sure they actually have effects inside of them and then you're just going to control c the 4i3 v3 loop throw that inside and then boom right we're done with that and then we can really scroll down from here so once you're done with that you're I'm going to go ahead and add an if statement here this is going to set up the animation so this looks familiar to the people who watch my battleground series so you're going to say if aura folder, regular bracket aura, and then you're going to say find first child. In parentheses, you're going to put animation. This is why I said only put the only insert animation if you actually, you know, have if they have a custom one. So what you're going to say is character dot animate dot idle dot oh sorry dot animation one dot animation ID is equal to or a folder, regular bracket, aura, you're gonna say dot animation, dot animation ID, right? Then we can really just copy and paste this control C, control V, control V. For this, all you have to do is just change this to animation two, and then change the idle down here to walk, and then change animation one to 
walk in them. And then you're going to add an else. You're going to say else. So the else clearly is so that if, if there is no animation found, you're just going to stay with the default animations. This obviously wouldn't matter if like a player just joined the game, but if like, but you know, when you're equipping an aura, let's say you had an, you had, let's say the previous aura you had already had a custom animation. We need to, you know, reset it and stuff so, so that it knows like, okay, go back to the default animations. So you can really copy and paste all of this. You control C, control V. The only difference is we're going to have to actually manually type this. We can't just throw the ID in there. So we're going to say quotation marks, HTTPS. Make sure you pay attention here, guys. I see people mess this up. Colon two four slash three w's dot roblox dot com slash assets four slash question mark id is equal to, and then these are the default roblox animation IDs. If you have your own default uh, animation animations and stuff like that, then you would go ahead and throw those IDs here and stuff like that. But I don't. I'm just using the roblox default ones, so. Yeah, that's what I'm going to set it to. So control C and control V. And then I need to uh, set this one. I need to change this one. So 1804263540. Right. And then boom, look at that. We have set up our animations. Then for the org UI, all I'm doing is I'm going to I'm going to say text color. I'm going to say org. I'm going to say org UI dot or a text label that text color three is equal to or a folder special brackets aura then on the outside you're going to say that color that value right and then just like that we're done with that and we can move on to the next else if the next event i should say so click the arrow enter you're going to say else if event type blues is equal to quotation marks this would be the cooldown event so cool down down enter right so then i'm gonna say if player dot roll cool down that values you can false me of course just double check just in case make sure that they're actually um so called to make sure that they're actually not currently on cooldown so then we can enable their cooldown so roll cool down that value is of course you get to true and then you're going to set up a delay function delay you want this time to equal the same amount of time you put here. So two seconds, two seconds, right? Then you're going to say comma, function, parentheses, enter. And then you're going to make it so that they're no longer on cooldown. So play a roll, cool down. That value is equal to false. And just like that, guys, we are done. Let's go ahead and test to make sure this works. As always, if you guys want access to any one of my scripts and models, you guys can become either a channel member or a Discord subscriber. Link to either one of those options can be found in the description. Okay, I, I see we are already experiencing issues. Okay. Oh, I see I spelled this wrong. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Oh, sorry. This is meant to say text color three. Not sure why I did that. Control C, control V, fix that right there. Okay, boom. Now, it looks like there's another issue. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, so as you guys can clearly see, right now I have the classic aura and stuff, no animations and nothing. If I switch storage, if I switch to rare, um, index nil with animation character dot wait huh character dot animate oh i did the wrong thing it's supposed to be aura folder and then aura sorry guys sweet aura folder so control c control v control v right so we do aura folder and then or my bad it was trying to reference the or the or itself okay so i have the rear aura right you guys see i have the animation playing as i'm well i guess this would be considered walking Right, and then you guys see I have the black text. If I switch over to classic, you guys will see I switch back to classic. Classic changes above. Now, obviously, the animation is still playing, but once I move, it'll reset back to normal and stuff. Then I can switch in between the two, and then my animation will update as well as the uh, header above my head. Um, if I try to roll for one, I'll show you guys. Let me let me make it so that I no longer own either one of them. Right, and then if I try to roll for it, you guys will see. So on or so let's say classic or right. If I try to roll for it, oh well. I need that. Well, oh, well, that shows the cooldown. You guys see the cooldown. So, boom. If I have classic and I skip it, boom, right? As you guys see, I can't roll because it's on cooldown. Now, if I try to roll for classic again, cooldown once again. If I roll for classic, hopefully I get it. Okay. If I equip now, if I equip it now, it it's actually uh, what's it called? It actually saves. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, I'll continue doing more of the Souls RNG uh videos and stuff. Dropping uh, more videos and stuff as long as you guys continue to support the series and stuff. 
Thank you guys for all the love and support you guys been showing on the channel. Really do appreciate it. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers, but by the time this video is out, we're definitely there. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video, and hope everybody's having a good summer. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.